what's up guys? Steph here. Welcome to uh, day 17 of Vlogmas. I forgot to vlog today. Like completely. I woke up and was rushing to get up because I had a meeting early this morning. And then I was in meetings literally all day. Like all day. And now it's nighttime. It's like 6.30. But I still have a bunch of work that I gotta get done. But I was like thinking about it. I was like, oh man, I totally forgot to vlog today. So I just wanted to say hello. Uh, I just let the cats outside so they could run around. Um, got a few packages in today. I'm trying to think if I should merge like some unboxing videos in my vlogs because usually like when I get stuff I try to wait to do an actual video but clearly that's not going great for me. Um, so I need to figure that out. But yeah, I uh, it's Thursday. Oh, I did make food because I've been eating junk food a lot because I love junk food. <laughs> But I made some um, linguine with clam sauce. This is the frozen version from Trader Joe's. It looks like that. Not too bad. I sometimes have an issue with clams because I hate when there's like sand, like grit in them. And these ones were a teeny bit gritty, not too bad. Um, but yeah, I think for like, if you need like a quick like linguine with clam sauce, fix then this is a decent option um so i ate half of that i'm pretty like okay right now i have tired eyes which sucks because i just feel tired but it's probably a mixture of me eating poorly me not moving very much and i've been trying to like stand up more today because i have a tendency when i'm working just to like stay sitting the entire time. Okay, well, I did get a package in. Maybe I'll open it up to see it. It's Pokemon cards. I already know that for a fact. Um, I've been trying to restock on my Pokemon cards so that when I do these live streams, I actually have cards, you know? Let me grab it. Um, I get my Pokemon cards from a lot of different things. Sometimes eBay, sometimes like actual websites. I have like Honestly, I probably shouldn't do this, but like at some point I was like just Google searching and then looking at the different sh like buy now or like sh selling options. So I found a lot of like random card stores, which I don't know if they were all like reputable, but um, this is a package of, so these are from Dave and Adams. There's some kind of thing. They have some good deals sometimes that you can get. I don't think I got the best deals, but I, I needed some extra cards and they have more bulk options a little bit so that um, you can get more cards. I don't know why I bought this to be honest. I should have gone with something like Breakpoint, but I got a bunch of the Fates Collide sleeves. I actually still have some Fates Collide from last time. But I was also, and then I also grabbed this Rebel Clash booster. Um, those ones sold out pretty quickly last time. Um, and the, the Rebel Clash boosters are like the cheapest booster boxes that you can get right now just because no one really wants Rebel Clash. Although there's actually some kind of cool cards in that set, I'll be honest. I looked at that. Uh, and I have some other ones that should be coming at some point. We'll see. I, I don't really know. Honestly, I haven't really kept up with all of my orders, so we'll have to see. But I really want to start doing... Well, I definitely want to do weekly pack breaks, but maybe even bi-weekly, so twice a week. Um, it's like the one thing that I really enjoy doing. Like, I really look forward to doing it. It's helping support me a little bit more. Um, I need to do more unboxing videos. I just haven't had the time to edit. That's the thing. I should start doing live unboxings. It's just so different for me to do live videos like that. And there's something in my mind that stops me from doing, like, they're just not, you know, as done up, of course. But for some reason, like, in my mind, I'm like, you know, you can't open that box live. Like, it has to be an actual video. But clearly, it doesn't really need to be. And I feel like something's better than nothing. So I might look into that. Like, I have a bunch of P.O. Box presents that I need to open. So I'll probably just do that in a live stream soon so that I can open them and see what everyone got me. Because that would be fun. Maybe I should do that tomorrow. So I won't do a pack break. I'll do just a live P.O. Box presence unboxing. Oh, I think I'm going to try to do that. I need to finish some work. I just got like a super like intense heat wave right now. I don't know what just happened. Um, it's because I probably moved around. Um, all right, I'm going to do work. I'll check out with you guys later. <sighs> okay, in an effort to one, get out of the house because I feel like I, I love being in my house and I would probably stay here all day every day but I probably should like leave the house every so often. I'm gonna take a quick run to Sam's Club because I forgot we have a, um, you guys have probably seen this on my vlogs in the past years, we do a food drive and I didn't really realize that the deadline was tomorrow. It's actually today, but tomorrow by 10. 
so I kind of forgot about it. And so I want to run to Sam's Club and get a few things. We're doing it differently this year because of COVID. So I'll just get some different items and um, I'm technically in charge of three of our camp groups right now. So I'll just like get a bunch of stuff and then divvy it up between, between them. That seems like it works, I would say. Ah, huh, I always forget that I'm vlogging. Uh, okay, well, I overdid it again this year, but I'm gonna fairly distribute items in between. So I oversee three groups, but there's like 15 groups total, so I'll like add extra things to the other groups to make it fair. Whoops, my bad, that was my fault. I get in a roll, especially when I know, like, it's like twofold, right? When I know that I can get some some good items for a food drive, I try to mix it up because I know that there's a lot of families, and so I was trying to like get obviously like food food items, like canned goods and things like, like soup and stuff like that, but also get like some things that also can be like lunch, I like like nice fun lunch things, like I don't know, like they had pirates booty, which I think is fun, and and they're like all individually wrapped, which is nice and. Um, I think the best treat thing that I got was like I got a box of fruit roll-ups because you know kids They should get like at least one good treat, you know, okay Anyways, I just wanted to say hello and that was kind of an exhausting trip. Also. They were closing soon So I just made it in time All right, let's go home. Uh, hello guys. I just realized just now. It's a uh, 1030 that I totally forgot to vlog welcome today Oh, what day is it? I don't even know. The 18th? The 18th? I think it's the 18th. My watch is... Yeah, Friday, December 18th, 2020. Welcome to uh, day 18 of Vlogmas. I'm so far behind on my Vlogmases. No, you guys, oh, it's time to go to bed. I'm tired. Come on, the cats want to go outside, but I want to go to bed. No, you... Uh, my battery's running out too. Okay, 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 okay. Go outside, have fun. Mac, do you want to go outside too? There you go, fine. Oh, Mac. Mac went outside. Tess went outside. Okay. Everybody go outside. I'll be back to get you guys in a little bit, okay? Watch your tail. Okay. I need to change the battery. Hold on. That worked out. I had a fresh battery in my battery charger. You guys, it's Friday! Um, even though it's already 10.30 and I haven't vlogged at all today, I am so excited because it's Friday, which means technically, technically I have the next two weeks off. I've never had two weeks off in a row. This is the first time. Now, technically I'm off. Uh, we'll see what happens. I already actually have a couple meetings next week, sorry. But it'll be nice to, for the most part, just be at home and just chilling. I'm actually really excited that there's a shelter in place. Like, there's no, like, expectations or responsibilities or anything to do anything and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to just chill and relax and I'll probably like veg out for like four days straight. I'll be honest, like probably maybe three days. I'll give myself three days. Four days is kind of a lot. That's like half of my time off, so I shouldn't do that. But yeah, just veg out and catch up on mental, mental and emotional like relaxation. Cause I think the past nine months has been crazy in general with COVID and just trying to maneuver and navigate at work. But just like, especially lately, probably within the past couple weeks, I just feel so drained. Like, I just don't wanna do anything. Like, I'm mentally exhausted. I'm very unmotivated. I just, it's just been a lot. So I'm really excited to just chill. To just chill and to chill some more and to only answer my phone, you know, when it's an emergency and yeah, I plan to do a lot of pack breaks. I'm really excited. I really love doing pack breaks. And I really wish like that was like a thing for me, like that I had a, a steady stream of like inventory that came in. I wish I was one of those people. I'm not one of those people, but maybe at some point in my life, I will be one of those people. Um, but that's the one thing so far lately that's really given me like joy. It's like I get to hang out with you guys and I get to open up packs. Don't think I have COVID right now. I know I have a runny nose. And it's because I just stuffed my face full of food, which I should have shown you because it was actually really good. I got at work today these delicious spicy chicken sandwiches from one of the local restaurants there. And it came with two fried chicken patties and it had this delicious spicy mayonnaise sauce and pickles. I got extra pickles and they also had this habanero honey that you could get. So I got a side of that and I dipped my sandwich in that and it was just so 
it was so good but now I'm like full because I ate I just like scarfed down that food that's the thing that sucks about with COVID everything with COVID being around I'm one of those people like when I'm really full I get like the most intense runny nose and I usually start sweating and now I'm like self-conscious I'm like no I don't have COVID I don't have COVID maybe I do I don't know I, I, I get tested once around once every month who knows does anyone really know if they have COVID unless you are symptomatic Really, and or you get tested all the time. Like you really just don't know. I could have COVID, but I just got tested a couple weeks ago and I didn't have it. And again, my runny nose only comes when I've eaten a lot of food and I'm really full. So I am going to get ready for bed. I'm so tired. I am so tired. And I am going to go get some water because I'm probably also dehydrated. And I'm gonna go get my cats who are all outside, but it's a little bit cold, so they shouldn't spend too much time outside. And then it's vacation time. I feel like I haven't been this excited in a while about something. I'm just so excited. I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I hope to clean my house a little bit because it's been out of control. Uh, maybe prepare some Funko Pops because I want to do another whatnot auction soon. Um, I want to start doing those a little bit more consistently. One, to help clear out like all of this. But two, also to help my, ooh, you need to pay off your credit card bill fund. Because it's getting a little bit out of control. Wait, I shouldn't get them now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to get some water and then I'll get them. Ooh, I think tomorrow I might do a live stream. So I want to do a pack break live stream. But I think I actually might do a P.O. Box unboxing live stream. Because I've gotten a lot of stuff in my P.O. Box or in the mail that I want to open. Um, even things like... There's not technically P.O. Box presents, but like things like these envelopes, which are things that came from whatnot. So some of the battles that I was part of, the Pokemon battles. To be honest, unless something fun happens, I'm probably not going to live sh or film anymore tonight. But you'll see me again shortly for my advent calendars. Ooh, that I need to catch up on the advent calendars. That's what I need to do. I'll do that tomorrow, maybe early, so that I can post some videos. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Hi, everyone. I'm angry, but I'm going to get this intro going. Uh, Steph here, I have to sneeze. Welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. Today is Saturday, December 19th. It's the first day of my vacation, and I thought I was starting off well. I've been buying Pokemon cards so I can do pack breaks this winter break. So I was able to get my hands on... Uh, Vivid Voltage. Now, this is not a booster box. They were loose packs, but from a reputable, from a rep, or at least what I thought, a reputable site, a very reputable site, something that I would consider a reputable site. I'm actually going to reach out to them, but let me show you. I'm not going to tell you what the site is because I'm not trying to bash them right now. I'll bash them if they don't do anything about this. I bought two orders of loose Vivid Voltage packs. Um, I don't think that this site, because they are known for doing pack breaks as well, I don't think that they weigh, this isn't like from eBay or anything, this is from an actual website, a reputable site, and I bought two orders of the 36 loose packs so that I could have them for my pack breaks because it's been really hard to get Vivid Voltage, right? So I was really excited, it got delivered today, it was supposed to get delivered like three days ago, it got delivered today, I went outside, I was on the phone with Amy, I opened up the box, I pulled the packs out, I was going to count them, right, so I had them stacked up and I was going to count them, and I went to start counting them, and I realized some of the packs, these ones, were a little bit weird, so I started looking closer, let me show you guys this. When we talk about packs being open, now I can't guarantee that this is what it is, but I'm pretty sure, because what these, what's happening here is it looks like these packs were cut, right, right here, and then it looks like somebody tried to then reseal it with like an iron. You can kind of see like the remelted plastic right here. And that's, I would say, one of the only things I could think of. Like you can even tell it looks like this was tried, it's like somebody tried to iron over this. If you can see that. And so some of these are cut, but they don't look as cut as the other ones. And so I was trying to figure out like, is there a way that maybe these just got cut when they were trying to open them, but this looks, these ones all look like they were cut and resealed. You can see that. And it is a perfect place to cut, because right, you can cut it, probably flip the top off, right, move all the cards down, flip the top off, pull the cards out, and then put them back in. And so I am angry. I'm really, I'm actually really upset, especially because I got this, again, I didn't get this from eBay, I got this from a reputable, a reputable source. They have a YouTube channel, and they, I would consider them reputable. I've purchased from them before. I've done videos about them. And I'm 
quite upset. Like this one, I don't know about this one because this one doesn't look like it was resealed. You can tell, like, if you compare uh, like this one to this one, right? So like this one looks like it was cut all the way and then somebody tried to reseal it. Somebody tried to iron over this and then you have your little um, melted piece of plastic right there. This one looks like it was kind of cut. I don't know if there's a way to just cut just like, they took a chunk out of this one. Like I wonder if they, you take a chunk out of the corner and you can basically, oh, you probably could look at the cards this way. I wonder, oh, sorry, it's blurry. My camera, my camera's like, absolutely not. So I wonder if they just, um, oh, they probably look at the color of the code card, huh? So they probably like cut the corner off, take a chunk out of it, look at the color of the code card, and if it's white, they probably put it back. I don't know exactly what the meth methodology is here because I don't do things like this, but I'm really upset about it. So I'm gonna contact this company and be like, what's going, like this one looks like it was completely cut. I'm wondering if they cut a chunk out. Look, you can even see the iron. Look, 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 look. Hold on. Look at this. You can see where they ironed. Hold on. Sorry, my camera. You can see. Let me just kind of pull this card out. You can see where they ironed over the card. That mark right there, that's actually the card. So they tried to iron over this. Wow, I can't believe that. I want to blast them right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to reach out to them. That is crazy. So I think what the methodology here, right? They cut a chunk out right here. They look at the code card color. If they see that it's white, is this one white or is it green? Or maybe they weigh the packs, I don't know. Oh, this one's green, so I don't know why they, I don't know, maybe they weigh the packs and they, they try to take a chunk out of the corner and if they can see what's in the packs, then they, then they open them. Now, these packs are all fine. I looked through all of these ones. These ones are untouched. So these are, so maybe they do either, they, maybe they do weigh their packs. I guess we'll be able to tell. Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of upset about this. Uh, cause now I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can technically use these, but maybe, I don't know. These ones don't look touched though. And I can tell based off of, uh, one of these has a sticky thing. This one. It's like this clearly came out of a blister, or not a blister, a, um, a sleeve right, when it has the glue like that. So they pulled these out of sleeves. So now, yeah, I don't know what's cracking with these. And so I, in theory, got, how? what's 36 times two? That's 60, 72 packs, right? 23 packs out of the 36 for that one are funky. And again, these ones are okay. I, I, I thought you can't weigh packs. So I feel like that's not a thing, but I, I don't know now. I'm not really quite sure. So I'm gonna take a picture and a video of this and send this to the company and see what they say. And if they are weird about it, I'm totally gonna blast them. Because this is not, like I'm just upset because I, I really do consider this a reputable company and it sucks that I'm like questioning that now. Anyways, okay, I wanna show you guys that. Okay, I just sent an email to the company and I took pictures, I took pictures of all these packs. <sighs> because some these are probably the worst of them. Like this one was clearly, wait, let me focus, focus, focus. This one was clearly cut. Oh my God, my camera hates me. It was cut and attempted to be resealed. They clearly ran out of material. Oops, I just knocked off some of the burnt things. This one, look, you can see, I think I already showed this, but you see the burn mark, that's on the card. That burn mark right there, that's on the actual card. These ones all have like chunks missing out. Like they tried to reseal it, but they cut the chunk off too much or something, and they couldn't put it back on. And so when they resealed it, you just have now this empty abyss of packaging. I know that it's a thing and I know that the last time I got the Champions Path from an eBay user, that one was, I know you guys don't think it was resealed, but it was. I actually looked into it more and looked at the reviews and everybody said the same thing. You could just tell by the way that the packs were like mis, like they were just not lined up. Like it was, and clearly like I, I've never seen, I would have never thought that this is how people do it, but it makes sense I guess because there's a lot of extra room in these packs. So clearly they cut a chunk out of it. They are able to see some of the cards. I don't know if they look at the code card. I don't know what they do. These ones like this, the ones that are really bad, I feel like they cut the top, flip it over a little bit. Like look at the cards and then flip it back and then reseal it. But man, it just sucks because I know when I buy things like this, I don't buy things like this normally from like eBay. And when I do buy them from eBay, like, look at this, this one has another, this is a different one, this one has a burn mark, that's the card, and you probably can't really see it, but there's an actual burn mark on the card for where they tried to iron over this. 
But yeah, like when I buy from eBay, I don't usually buy loose packs like this because I don't trust it. I don't trust that they haven't been weighed. I don't trust they haven't been tampered with. And when the one time I did it with the Champions Path, I knew what I was getting myself into. I purchased these from a, like look at this one. This is like blatantly just like, let me just cut a chunk out of the packaging. And they, they legitimately took a chunk out of the packaging and then you can tell they tried to reseal it. You can see the, the um, burnt plastic right there. You know, I've been really trying to make sure because I don't have a distributor. I'm not a, like, I don't do any of that. So I, I try to buy from online stores that I trust. Um, and some, um, and sometimes I have to build that trust. Like I buy from things and I test out the product and make sure that it's good and don't have any problems. And then I trust them. Right. But this is one that I automatically trusted because it's like a trustworthy group of people. I think, at least I thought, I don't know. So we'll see what they say. This one was like really bad. I feel like, like, this one has just a giant chunk taken out, and so I thought maybe this one was like, oh, I accidentally, you know, when I was opening the packs, I accidentally cut off, it's like focusing here, let me see, I accidentally cut off a chunk of the pack, but this is like legitimately, they cut it off, and again, I feel like they, they tried to, I don't know if this one was trying to be resealed, but you probably can just, they probably just try to like flip it open like that to see something in the pack. I don't know. I don't know how people do it, you guys. I'm not a pack resealer. I don't know what the magical thing of this are. And now I don't actually trust these packs anymore because even though people say you can't weigh packs, I think that you can. I think that there's obviously a reason why these ones were cut open and these ones were not. So I'm actually not planning on using any of these until I hear back from the company to see what they say. But yeah, that's really disappointing. Not a good way to start off my Saturday, especially with how excited I was. Luckily, the other Vivid Voltage, I only have like four Vivid Voltage cards. This is the one I was going to do in my, um, like my, oh, pick a card or like a, on my next pack break, I'm going to do this. I pulled really good packs out and you pay whatever and then we pick a random pack. But those Vivid Voltages came out of like, collection boxes. That's the one good thing about collection boxes. I know that most likely those haven't been tampered with. But yeah, I'm like thrown off guard. I'm caught off guard. And you know what's funny is I, so I have purchased a bunch of Vivid Voltage booster boxes that hopefully will come soon so I can do pack breaks. I don't personally like booster boxes. I know I like them because in the sense of the 36 packs, you're guaranteed to get one secret rare. But I almost like the fun of buying like sleeved packs or pulling packs from collection boxes because you might not get out of 30 packs, you might not get a secret rare, but you might get five secret rares. Like you don't know. I like that. Like I, I mean, if I was opening up a booster box for myself, then yeah, I guess I would go for a booster box because then it's like, I know I'm going to get at least one secret rare. But like, I like the fun aspect because we've actually pulled, if you look back on my streams, there's been some times where we get like cold streaks right? But it's Pokemon cards. But there's been times where we got some really hot streaks where we get like actual like rainbow rares and hyper secret rares from packs that just came out of tins and collection boxes. And I, I love that feeling. But I know some people like when, when packs come out of booster boxes. They like them a little bit more. And so, so I try to also get booster boxes for you guys so that when I'm selling them, I can say like, this is out of a booster box because it is a little bit different, right? So yeah, anyways, I wanted to share that because it's it I'm very I'm very disappointed. I bought these other ones. Let me show you. And I like this company. I've purchased from them a few times. And like they have these are sleeved. I don't know why I bought Fates Collide, but these are sleeved packs. So I'll have to take these out, which sucks. But I know that these weren't tampered with, right? And then I also got this. Nobody wants Rebel Clash, but some of you guys actually like Rebel Clash, so I decided to splur splurge and get a um a booster box because I haven't been buying a lot of collection boxes that have Rebel Clash. I usually stay away. Steam Siege and Rebel Clash, although Steam Siege is, is moving on up in the world right now. And I actually don't even have any Steam Siege. You guys bought me out of all my Steam Siege. So I did buy some um, sleeves of Steam Siege as well that are coming in the mail. I think today actually. Sorry if you don't like Pokemon cards. There was my Pokemon card spiel. But if you guys are into Pokemon cards, that's one thing to watch out for, I guess, is that now people are cutting the backs, the bottom backs of them, and then they're, I guess, lifting it up to see the cards and then trying to reseal them. See, because, like, look, this one's um, one that they cut. You can push all the cards down, and look at this. So the cards are all the way down here. So they clearly cut the cards basically right where they are. They cut a hole, and they're probably able to easily see what's in here, and then they can just reseal it. That's probably the bad thing about why there's, like, with these packs having so much space in between the packaging. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm sorry, you guys are probably bored about it, but there's a PSA alert for you. Hey, guys. I haven't done anything today. 
I guess I ever take a lot of naps. Um, I actually have to drive down because my car's timing belt needs to be changed. So I'm gonna do that. I did get a Costco delivery. Um, actually, well, I'll show you this when I get back because Dana and Lola went to Costco and they got me something which was awesome. And then I bought a Costco delivery and that just arrived. So I put everything away. But I'm gonna go drive down now and drive off my car. Uh, hello guys. I, that drive, oh man, that, I had to go pretty far. It was like an hour away and then I drive back with my mom a, an hour up and that was interesting. Um, I came home, I took another nap. I'm exhausted. Something might be wrong with me? I don't know, I think I'm just tired. And so I was looking around because my freaking downstairs, I don't know what happened. It was like really clean and then all of a sudden it like is now just a hot mess. Like I don't know what at what point when this happened. So I probably should clean it. I'm watching The Crown. Oh, I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got from Costco. Actually, I wanna show you a few things. One, Costco now sells knockoff Ferrero Rochers. Uh, they're Costco brand, they're Kirkland's. Now, I bought this for delivery, so it was $11.99, which means that probably in the store, it's probably only like $9.99. And if that's the case, that's a pretty good deal, and they're delicious. They taste just like the regular Ferrero Rocher. I got uh, these Nutella things and these Bueno things. These are both hazelnut type things, but these were on sale. Um, they were a few dollars off, so I got that. I got another bag of shrimp chips because the one that Lola and Lolo and Dana got me were delicious. I got these um, pickled asparagus. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I honestly have no idea why I got those. Uh, I got my... These ones are new because they're um, grass-fed, but this brand... I love the old ones that I had. They're like just meat sticks and they're delicious. Um, those are kind of expensive. This is uh, beef jerky, just the, the Costco brand, Pacific Gold. I got a shipment of more Pokemon cards for whenever I do my Pokemon stream. Uh, they didn't have any Vivid Voltage booster box, so I got a few of these ETBs and then I got Steam Siege. S sleeves. I think there's 36 of them, so we'll have to pop those open. I need to do a P.O. Box presents because I have a bunch of boxes from my P.O. Box slash my mailbox slash, you know. Um, what else did I get from Costco? Hold on, let me just show you guys. I got this pasta I wanted to try. This was also on sale, so this only ended up costing me like $11, which means it probably was only like $9 in the store because, like I said, there's about a $2 upcharge when you get delivery. Um, I got some shrimp ceviche, which I already cracked open, but I will be honest and say it, it, I got it today and it was already expired, but it's whatever. I'm sure it's safe. Uh, I got some of this Costco lobster bisque. It better be good because look how small these are compared to their normal soup containers are bigger than this. Um, if you guys like clam chowder, the boudins from Costco is really good. Um, and then I got this, which I definitely didn't need to get this, but I got it anyways. This is a cheese and fruit platter. I'm going to actually, tomorrow, break this open, cut everything in half, and then give Dana half of this. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, shoot. I put it on top of the guacamole. The guacamole's leaking. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, I got some prosciutto. They, it was on sale, so I got it. Um, oh, I should probably clean that up. I am eating chips. I had some chips with ceviche, so maybe I'll eat the guacamole so it doesn't go bad because that was from when I did my toast. So that was a few days ago. And I'm getting ready because I have those leftover french fries from last night. I don't think I showed you guys. I had a leftover chicken sandwich. It was delicious. Um, but the french fries were really good too. And I want to air fry them, but I'm going to set up my new air fryer. So I'm going to do that now. Heck always knows when I'm filming and he just decides he doesn't want to show Cube any love. But he was just cleaning him, it was so cute. They're like best friends. You guys are like best friends, best friends. Okay, I'll stop filming you, sorry. Good morning everyone. Welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. I realized this morning how behind I am in posting all my Vlogmas videos, so I made it a point to Hopefully today I catch up with everything. I've been saying that every single day. I've been going up and down the stairs because I've been bringing packages up to my room. Oh, somebody's outside trying to get in. Who do you think it is? I'm gonna guess Cube. Oh, it was Tess. And I got a package. 
Look, the new Nick box came in. Fun. So, yesterday was a tough day because I didn't get anything done and I was pretty disappointed in myself. Although, I try to give myself a break and tell myself that sometimes you just need a break. Um, so I woke up this morning. Last night I started reading one of the books that I usually read when I feel like I'm having difficult times in general in life. And so I'll show you that book later. So I read, I started reading that again um, just to get myself hopefully back on track. This morning when I woke up, well Dana and the kids were at the park. I was going to go try to maybe meet up with them and ride bikes outside. But I couldn't get out of bed in time. And then they dropped by really quick because Maddie really needs to use the bathroom. So... Um, they just stopped by really quick so she could do that. But prior to that, I decided that I wanted to become like a dancer. I've always wanted to be a dancer. I'm a terrible dancer. Like I'm so bad at dancing because I don't have good rhythm. And I just like, I'm not a good dancer. And I was like, I should be a good dancer. Like why can I not be a good dancer? There's so many YouTube videos out there. So I think I might make that like my behind the scenes side thing of me trying to learn how to dance. Just using tutorials from the internet. So no actual, like, just like watching videos. And you can learn everything on the internet, they say. So why can't I learn how to dance? And I've gone through these phases probably about 10 times in my life. If you're a close friend, you have seen me try to master the Something Borrowed dance. I tried to master the Justin Bieber dances. Like, I just, now there's so many of these dances, like, on TikTok. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Like, anyways. But when I was doing it today, I think I hurt my, my lower back a little bit. <laughs> I'm clearly out of shape and really old, like too old to be doing certain things. So we'll see how that goes. That's probably going to be a very short-lived uh, dream of mine. Um, I made a to-do list today so that I could actually get things done because I know all the things I need to do, but sometimes in my mind they can get overwhelming. And whenever I get overwhelmed, it's better for me to make a list so I can like actually cross things off the list. Tessie, no, Tess must do. Tess, Tess, easy Tess, easy. Oh my gosh, Tess, what? Why are you, you're like, Tess does not usually cry this loud. Okay, have fun. That was weird. She doesn't, she doesn't usually cry that loud. Kind of loud, but not that loud. Um, oh, it's warm down here. I need to turn the heater off. So yeah, I make a list so that I can like actually cross things off. So I was like, one of the things was like, I bought this thing from Costco that I want to give Dana half. So I was like, split the food for Dana. Check. Feed the cats. Check. That's all I've done so far. Um, I just carried a bunch of boxes upstairs so that I can start sorting Pokemon cards so that I can hopefully do a live stream today. I have a lot of boxes down here. I'm gonna do a, I'm getting ready to do a P.O. Box presence video or unboxing live because I haven't been able to properly even film any videos for like three weeks now. So clearly I'm in a rut, so I'm going to do, I got a lot of packages from people and I want to open them, but I'll do it live. That way I don't have to edit it and I can actually post it in time. I haven't heard back from the company for the Vivid Voltage box that I got, so I'm also hoping that they get back to me within the next few days. Not that I'm trying to blast them, but I am like so thrown off, I'm like so thrown off guard that that product came from them. It's like really throwing me off guard, you know? But anyways, all right, well, let me uh, prep for this stuff, kind of get this table situated, see if I can do a quick live stream, and then I probably will do another live stream later tonight is the goal. So it's 11.30 now. Yeah, that sounds about right. This one will be fast. It'll just be me opening the packages and then we're done. That's it. Done, done, done. Boom, boom, bam. Ooh, shout out to Mikio who gave me a tip that these were actually on sale at GameStop. I bought way more bundles than I should have. They had a bundle of six for $24, which makes these $4 each, and usually they're $5, but I haven't even been able to find them for $5 each, and so I was really excited to find them for $4 each, and I ended up getting three bundles. So, by the end of this vlog, miss, we should have the entire Kauai Village collection. And now that I know I can get the whole collection, then I'll, I'll grab Mr. Globehead from the floor, and I'll bring him back, because I know a lot of you guys are like, what, he's so cute. And he's fine, he's fine, he's just not, he's just not as cute as the rest of them, that's all. But hopefully we can get the entire set with the amount that we have. Fingers crossed, or else I have to start buying individual ones. Okay, let's do it! Okay, just checked another item off my list. I just did a live 
P.O. Box unboxing. I didn't have too many things to unbox, but I had a few, so I wanted to unbox them. Uh, one of them being my uh, my Auntie Viv's <clears throat> snack mix, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to go downstairs. I had the cat. The cats are outside. Well, not Mac, but the other kittens are outside. So I want to check on them, make sure they're okay. I'm going to eat some snack mix. I'm going to check off doing a unboxing live on my channel. Check it off. I'm gonna maybe do advent calendars before I clean up the room. I wanna prep, at some point later tonight, I wanna do a Pokemon break. So I need to prep for that as well. And then, yeah, so let's do it. Oh my gosh, yes! I had run out of Tylenol here at my house and I went into Walgreens and got this and I got this, I had it at work though and then I didn't have any here and then I, I thought I brought it home from work because I'm off the next two weeks. So then last night when I had a really bad headache, I was trying to find it and I couldn't find it and here it is. Now you know, now I know. So let me see how these cats are doing. Let's see. Cube, Tess, oh, geez, that was so fast, Cube. Where's Tess? Okay, well, there's Cube, he's in. Yeah, but I'm gonna just prep for some stuff. I need to clean, my downstairs is atrocious. It's, it's just, it, I don't know what happens to it, but it just gets atrocious. It's like once stuff starts piling up on the table, it's usually over. Obviously, I have all the boxes. And then this is my snack area. My snack area is my favorite area because I love snack. Keep, we're going to keep doing things. We're going to keep doing things. Do the things on a Sunday. Do the things on a Sunday. I'm kind of dancing. This can, Does this count as dancing? Oh, oh. Oh, I almost ate it just now. Okay. Doing things. You guys, I'm terrible at a... Uh... <clears throat> I have vlogging, apparently. Uh, you guys, it's technically actually the next day, but it's not yet, technically. I don't know, Not that doesn't make sense. I'm not making any sense tonight. Uh, it's I think it's past midnight, what time is it? 12.10, I feel like I'm drunk, but I haven't been drinking at all. Um, I just finished my live stream about half an hour ago. It was really fun, I love doing pack breaks. They're just so much fun. Now, what's not so much fun is, of course, the chaos that is left after pack break, but, I'm going to clean that up tomorrow, I'm going to ship out all those cards tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll be golden. My stream was actually pretty long. It was not four hours long, but it was almost four hours long. And it was really funny because uh, my dad stayed. My dad, hold on, I'm going to set this up on the cat tree so I can talk to you guys and get stuff done. My dad was downstairs, I thought he was going to leave. But he got stuck because he ended up starting to watch the, uh, how am I said the Queen's Gambit? The Mandalorian. Because it was playing, and it was playing, it played like the last two episodes of season one, which I think he watched, and then it just automatically jumped to season two. So he was just watching it. He watched the entire season two. That's eight episodes. Michelle, thank you so much for these chips, they're delicious. So he watched eight episodes of the Mandalorian, he just left. Isn't that crazy? So he's officially watched more Mandalorian than I have, and he doesn't even have Disney Plus. Um, but the stream was a lot of fun. I didn't sell out of packs, which is good, cause that would be crazy. I actually shut off my website though, because I didn't want to be doing the stream for like, I mean, man, I could literally do that for like six hours. What am I doing? But I also want to show you this book. This is the book I was telling you guys about earlier. I read this and I might have shown this to you last year during Vlogmas, but I got this last year. And it's one of those books that I read when I feel like my life is a little bit off-centered. And I feel like my life is a little bit off-centered right now. Like I don't feel balanced. Um, I don't know if I ever feel balanced, but I really feel like I feel really off balance right now And mainly I think what I feel off balance about is work and when I feel off balance about work It gets really sketchy because work is like If I had to give percentages of my life like right now, I would say work is probably like 85 to 89 to 90% of 85 to 90% of my life and friends and family is probably like 5%? That's not true. YouTube actually is probably like 10, 10 to 15%. So anyways, I just feel like I'm off balanced at work. And so there's a section in here, which will be the first section that I read. You're supposed to read all five sections, but they say that if there's one that you feel like you want to focus on, you can read it first. So 
I'm gonna reread. I've already read this, but I'm gonna reread to remind myself chapter five, which is work and play vocational self care. And you basically read this section if you want to find more meaning in your career, use your gifts and talents, establish a connection to your community through volunteer work, improve your level of satisfaction at work, and fi find balance between your work and personal life. That's the, the last one. I have yet, I've been working for over 15 years now, and I have yet to find good work life balance. It's really a struggle to me because or a struggle for me because my career has always been number one and it's still number one, but I have found that there's other things in life that I appreciate and want to pursue. Like even things like YouTube, honestly, I, I really do enjoy YouTube and I enjoy you guys. I used to be able to balance it a little bit better. It got hard. I mean, I had so many life changes, my car accident, I got a promotion. Like there was just so much stuff that happened and um yeah it's been hard and like i just need to find better balance in general so there's some other sections what are the different sections in here there's friends family and fun social self-care i guess i could read that one but get moving physical self-care i need that one that'll probably be the second one the life in mind the life of the mind intellectual self-care that one i think i'm okay i'm i challenge my mind all the time I love puzzles. I, I like, I'm constantly, I'll still read it, but I'm constantly like looking at things to challenge myself in my mind. Not like outside of work, just like in general. I love puzzles and things like that. If you know me personally, you know that about me. Then there's the work and play, which I'm going to read, of course. Your higher self, your higher self, spiritual self care. That one, questionable. That'll be the last one I, I read. And then it's be your own best friend, emotional self care. That one I probably could read. That one I probably could read. So I'm gonna try to read all of these, but I have this like order in my mind of the order I'm gonna read it in and we'll see if it helps. I think I just need a reset and I've been telling myself that for a while and I'm hoping these next two weeks, you know, I know I'm still gonna have to do some work stuff, but I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that I can get a, a decent reset. That's what I'm hoping for. So we'll see. But I do wanna say thank you to anyone who purchases Pokemon cards for me because that is truly right now the biggest joy in my life, I'll be honest. Like, because I love opening Pokemon cards, and I love opening them for myself, of course, but again, it's just fun to get to hang out with you guys and to open them for you and to like share the joy with you. We had some pretty good pulls tonight. Not the best pulls, but we had some pretty good pulls tonight, and it was like fun to share that with you guys, to share the enjoyment. I think that was even, it's more fun to do that for me than to even get the cards myself. And we've pulled throughout my time doing this like we've pulled some good cards you know and good cards that I'm like wow that'd be a cool one to add to my collection but at the same time I'm like no I'm happy that this person got it you know anyways we'll see how these next couple weeks go I I do need to clean my room and my house I think that might also be I don't know in what part that would be in this book but I feel like my environment is also um can also play a part although I'll be honest I've always been a messy person so I wouldn't and and the way that I'm feeling now in my life is not, I'm, I don't normally feel this way. And so I don't know if that's part of it. I actually think I thrive better, to be honest, in a messy environment. I think being in a really clean environment, it like stresses me out. It, that's so weird to say. But yeah, it's like weird to me when things are too neat, it, it like gives me stress. So maybe clean won't be the best thing, but I should clean just because I'm an adult. And I should clean my room because I'm an adult. And I should do it. All right. It's late. I'm going to, I've been speaking nonsense all night. I'm going to uh, put this down. I'm going to read some of my book. And you guys remember I used to wake up, like I used to start all my vlogs like this. That was like a couple years back. I feel like I was just always in bed. Uh, what's up everybody? It's Dev here. Good morning and welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas. Oh my gosh. Every day, I get further and further behind in my Vlogmas. I feel terrible. But videos will be posted. They just won't be posted in real time. Sorry about that. I'm still figuring that out. Uh, first of all, today is uh, Monday the 21st. Happy birthday, Jess. Jess doesn't watch my videos, I don't think. But happy birthday to you, Jess. Jess is one of my dear high school friends that I'm still friends with now. She's part of my GL crew. Yeah, her, Doris, and Dana, we all, you guys have seen them on the vlog before, but yeah, happy birthday, Jess. I'm so sorry that, you know, the pandemic, but I think most of us now have 
celebrated our birthday during the pandemic. Yeah, actually, Dana was one of the lucky ones. She had her birthday in January, but this coming up one probably is still pandemic. What are you going to do about it? You know, I saw this post on Facebook today, and it was like, it's kind of what I've been feeling but it was put into words and I was like, oh, and basically it was this whole long post. If anyone's interested in seeing it, let me know and I'll post it in the comments. But it's this whole long post about kids. Like I've heard a lot of people like, oh, kids are going to be so behind because of this. They're losing out on a, a year of school. And at, in the beginning, I was like, oh, my God, I can't. I uh, no, that can't be. And then as I was thinking, about it, I was like, oh, that's weird because. I mean, in general, kids learn at different paces. So there are there's going to be kids who strive in the uh, virtual environment versus kids who don't. And it, it's actually interesting because I think that there's it's probably going to be reversed. Like, I think there's going to be kids who struggle in the school environment who might be thriving in the virtual environment because I, they just learn that way and they learn better. Maybe they've now found that they learn better that way. But, you know, when I really thought about it, I was like, well, wait a second. Like, the whole world ha has been, like, you know, thrown upside down. It's not just the kids at at going to school. It's like the whole world, right? Everything is so different now. And in general, for the most part, almost probably all the kids who were supposed to be going to school this year, who have been just doing it virtually or whatever, are going to struggle. They're going to be struggling. And in in theory, it now changes the standards, right? Because you have these set standards that the world has about grades levels and learning levels and where people should be but now with everybody losing most likely a year of school for the most part you know those standards are definitely going to have to change you know what what i think we normally would have thought a first grader to have learned is going to have to change because all the first graders this year they they definitely didn't probably learn that and then also the kindergartners who are coming up so like it's like this whole thing but yeah this person like really like spelled that out in writing about just how it's a post-pandemic world and how we one should just understand where the kids are you know all the tests and all the things like those are probably all gonna have to change because in general as a whole everybody's gonna have struggled so yeah it was a really good read i enjoyed it personally because i feel like it put into writing what i've been feeling about kids and just even in general with everybody like i just was like thinking last week like what is the world gonna look like when we go back to normal like i can't even imagine like that's the thing like i can't even imagine the old world and i'm sure that's what everybody else imagined when things like you know when we used to have wars and we used to have the great depression like all those things right you you have a norm that you're used to and then you end up returning back to the world whenever it's time to return back and everything's different everything is crazy it's probably like i was going to compare it to blast from the past the movie but it's not really like that but kind of right you you just are it's going to be a different world and we're all going to have we're all going to have to adjust not just the kids like the adults we're all going to have to adjust to what our new world looks like do we ha are we going to have to wear masks for the rest of our lives who knows hopefully not hopefully not hopefully with the vaccine but you know even the vaccine is questionable right now it's brand new no one really knows if it's going to work people are having side effects on it and so like until that really like is legit and it can, and everyone can get one. Like, who knows what this world's gonna look like. So, anyways, I don't like really talking about the world, but that is something that, like, you know, I work with kids, and I've I've heard a lot of people say, you know, all the different things that they're gonna struggle with, the gaps and everything, and it's like, everybody's gonna have gaps. You know, everyone's gonna, have, colleges are probably gonna have to ease up a little bit when they're letting people, you know, apply. Like, I think, I feel like, the standards are going to have to change, you know, or there's going to have to be different curves and different like things to match what a majority of the people where they are at. So, yeah. Anyways, um, you guys, I have a stuffy nose because I just woke up abruptly. It's uh, 11 o'clock. I woke up at 1030 abruptly. I got a work call, but it's 10 o'clock. I slept in until 10 o'clock. I was knocked out. I, my one alarm went off at eight because I didn't shut it off from work. And so I woke up there, turned it off, and then I didn't have any other alarm set, and I didn't wake up until 10.30 until I got a phone call. I was, because I was up until like 3.30 last night. So, 
it was probably good that I got that phone call. That way I wasn't oversleeping, but yeah, it's the morning. It's my first true day vacation. I was saying that Saturday was, but that's the weekend. So, um, I have a lot of things I gotta get done. I mainly like YouTube things. Like, I really want to catch up on all my vlogs and get all that stuff done so I don't have to worry about it. Like, it's, it's like, not stressing me out, but it's, like, it's there. It just sits there. It's right here. And it's like, ooh, you should do it. And I'm like, yeah, I should. I'm such a terrible vlogger. Oh, my gosh. My camera, I couldn't even, I didn't even know where my camera was. It was on my bed from this morning. Uh, it's the nighttime. I, I had somewhat of a productive day. I packed a lot of the cards for the people who request to be packed i'm gonna ship them off tomorrow there's still a few people that I need to pack up so i'll do that tonight i need to take the garbage out so i don't have to wake up early tomorrow because before i could wake up at you know five in the morning but i would go into work afterwards now it's vacation so i don't want to wake up that early so i need to go through the house pick up all the garbage um, what did I do today? My dad came and got me so that we could get myself a car because I didn't have a car because my car is getting looked at. And then I went to Sam's Club. I wanted to pick up some gifts for the neighbors. I don't actually know any of the neighbors, but um, they, some, one of the neighbors gave me a gift, so I wanted to gift the neighbors just around me. So I think I got enough stuff. I don't know, I'll have to see. Oh no, my camera's running out of batteries. Anyways, I got that and I dropped some stuff off at Chris, Chris's house and I dropped some stuff out at Dana's house. And uh, yeah, now, oh, I wanna show you guys something that I got, but uh, I gotta change my battery because it's dying. Hold on. Oh my God, you're gonna be like, what are you doing? So at the beginning of the month on Facebook, somebody posted about this guy who was local, who every year builds reindeers out of wood and you can buy them and use them as like decorations and I saw it and I was like they had these little cute small ones I was like, that's so cute I want to get one but of course I waited and waited and waited and tonight when I was on my way to um drop some stuff off at, at Chris and Soren's house um I happened to pass by the house with the guy who sells the reindeers and so I pulled over it was a little bit pricey because they didn't have any of the little ones left but I made it a goal of mine to get one of these things for the front of my porch. And so let me show you this. <laughs> it's super cute. I wish that I would have bought it earlier when I could have gotten a smaller one. Because this one's pretty big. I don't know exactly where I'm going to store it. There was this other one that I liked. But this one was a little bit bigger. So I went for the one that was a little bit bigger. Because they were the same price. Um, but yeah, like they're little handmade. He literally had just made this one. Like there's still like sap coming out of the wood. Um, that he cut but he makes these little reindeer so hopefully one day I have a whole reindeer family we'll see all right I'm gonna put this outside and we'll see how it looks oh this is like what is this okay it looks pretty good yeah I can't wait until next year when I can get the t-rex um, I want to get at least the t-rex look at the cats oh, they love this guy they probably like the wood Cube, do you like him? He doesn't have a name yet, but I think he fits right in. I had to squish these together because the wind at one night was like so strong and it was just blowing. It just kept blowing everything down, so I pushed him closer. All right, fun times. It's a whole decorated family. Yes. You guys, I was sitting here thinking wow I feel so relaxed right now let me mute this or let me turn it on and, and I thought about it and I thought it was because it was like what I'm doing I'm watching um watching pokey Kobe's live stream right now I'm eating this uh cheese platter I got from Costco with some prosciutto Mac is looking out the window cubes outside Tess is probably outside and I just felt so relaxed and I was like, what is happening? And then I realized it's because I can sit here and eat my cheese plate and watch my live stream. And and then when I'm done, I can do whatever it is I want. I mean, I have some, some things. I have some things that I have to do. You know, like I want to finish packing all the cards so I can mail them out tomorrow. But like, it's so like vacation. I haven't had that kind of vacation mindset in a while. Even when I went on vacation in the beginning of the year to Hawaii, 
I felt like there were so many things that we were trying to do and like things like we were planning out the day that we were on a schedule and now I'm just like, well, I don't know. Because even in the past when I was on vacation, you know, like there was stuff I had to do but with the shelter in place and everything, I'm kind of like, there's not really much that I have to do. So I am going to finish eating this. I'm going to finish watching the stream. I had a couple, uh, he's opening all the cards from his custom booster box and I had, oh my god, I have this calic right here, guys. It's so bad. It's like so bad, the calic. Oh my god, it's terrible. I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, um, I had some custom booster boxes, so I got a few openings. Like, I just hit, oh, I had a Hidden Fates pool, and I got a Shiny Charmeleon, which is like one, I think that's the best small shiny card that you can get from Hidden Fates, and it looks beautiful. Like, he was showing it up close. And then I think I won one thing of Vivid Voltage, and I think I won some Evo. So, he's doing Vivid Voltage right now, so I'm going to watch that. Um... I have some of the gifts for the neighbors that I don't want to take out of my car. I want to prep for my pack break, so I want to, um, I bought a bunch of collection boxes today. Uh, they were so overpriced, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm supporting local businesses. I feel good about that. So I bought some collection boxes from him, and I'm going to open those up and sort through the cards. I'm kind of thinking at some point that I want to make my own type of, a lot of these streamers do like custom booster packs. And I'm not a cool person to be like, let me charge $30 and you might get a vintage pack or something like that. Like, I don't have that. But I was thinking about maybe doing like custom, because I already make homemade packs. But instead of just having whatever, I can put a hit in every one. Or if it's not a hit, they can get some, you can get something else. Like maybe you win a pack of Shiny Star V or something like that. Like, I don't know. So I think it's very similar to kind of what I do when I do like the buy a spot and we'll pick a pack out and then that's what you get. I guess that's the same thing. It really is the same thing. So maybe we'll just do that. We'll just keep doing that. But anyways, I just was like thinking about that because like, oh, that'd be fun. Like it'd be fun to do some of these like kind of, they're basically like raffles, but ones where you, everybody wins something. Like you get something. I don't know what it is, but you get something. Uh, I did buy a bunch of, I found a bunch of ETBs. They were also overpriced. The Vivid Voltage, they were super overpriced, but I want to have, I know you guys really like Vivid Voltage, so I want to have Vivid Voltage for you guys when I do pack breaks, but it is so hard to get right now. It is like literally so hard to get. It's so frustrating because you can't find it anywhere, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm going to keep eating and watching this, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit. Good morning, guys. Steph here. Welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. Today is Tuesday? When you don't work, it's really hard to keep track of days. Tuesday. December 22nd, as per usual, I didn't want to take out my garbage and my recycling last night. So I did it this morning. I've been up since about 6.30, took out all the garbage in my house, all the recycling in my house, and I wanted to be up because I got these truffles for the, like all the people who get compost, recycling, garbage, and then I made snack bags for them. Because I realized that the delivery people always get snack bags. Well, not bags, but they get to pick snacks from their um, from the box outside. But the people who pick up our garbage do not. So, oh, bye, cube. So I'm waiting for them to get here so I can give it to them. This is like a thing that I've always done when I was a kid. Like my dad was really adamant every year during Christmas time that we had a box of seized candy for the people who picked up garbage and recycling and also um, the mailman. So I also have one for the mailman. I don't know, she's hard, she's trickier. I don't know exactly how to track her down, but I'm gonna try. She always takes a Pepsi from the front. So maybe I'll make her a snack pick too. She's a little bit, she seems a little bit picky about her snacks so I've watched her pick through the snack so um, yeah, anyways, I'm excited for when everybody gets here and then I can go back to sleep. I might not go back to sleep. It's actually refreshing to be up this early, although I'm really tired because I went to bed really late. But it was nice to be like outside in the cold because I feel like, I don't know, it just is nice. I don't go outside very much anymore now that I think about it, so that's probably what it was. Alright, I'm going to wait for them and then that way I can give it to them. Okay, first one down. That was the compost guy. He usually comes out like early, like six, but it's already seven, so maybe they changed their schedule. I am so sad for him. He's by himself. I thought that they always had a two-man crew for some reason. 
maybe it's because there's not that many people with compost bins out here. You have to request it. Well, actually, I think that's just in my development. Anyways, um, he was very happy, and I was very excited. Except for, again, I was sad that there was only him by himself. Like, that sucks to be by yourself all day like that. That seems like that sucky. That's a little bit sucky. Anyways, all right. I'm going to chill a little bit because I don't think the garbage in their site, people, they come, like, weird times. So I'm probably just going to close my garage door, and uh, we'll wait until a little later. You guys, I almost just gave myself a black eye. I hope I don't have a, I hope I don't get one. I, <laughs> okay, I don't know if anyone knows this, but a little bit ago, I had this in my bedroom. It's called a door buddy. It basically allows the door to be open only a certain amount so that like dogs can't get through or whatever. But I put one on this front door because um, the cats go in and out and Cube, you know, Cube can't um, like fit through the doggy door, so he has to go through the front door, so I always had to get up and open it. So, I put this on, and it was great, except for the first time I put it on, Cube, the door was open or whatever, because I usually put this thing to make sure it doesn't close, and Cube ran through the door so hard, it ripped this off the wall. Last night, I had one extra, like, square adhesive, so I, I put this on, and it was great, except for this morning, literally just now, not this morning, just now, I, the door was closed, and so I was trying to let Cube out, and I go to open the door, and I didn't realize this was connected, and I ripped, this thing ripped off the wall and then hit me in the eye. Just boom, smack in the eye. So now I've broken the door, buddy, again, and I, I've, I mean, I've already ripped paint off the wall. I'm not going to be able to find any more of these little square adhesives, so that sucks. So, anyways... It just wasn't meant to be. The door buddy apparently was not meant to be. Oh, hello, Tess. And, um, I've been sorting Pokemon cards this morning, going through all of these boxes that I bought and things to get more cards, because I want to do a live pack break tonight. I need to finish packing some of the stuff up from my last stream so I can drop it off at the post office today. My dad made these boiled peanuts. They taste like Asian flavored, like when you go to the restaurants and they have the boiled peanuts. And I'm watching Below Deck. I didn't even realize it started again. It's the one with Captain Lee. So I'm on like the second episode. It's going to take me a while because I was a huge um, Kate fan. And so, and Hannah. But like, so now it's hard for me to watch. Because I'm like, who are these people? I don't know any of them. It's challenging. But we're getting there. And then I did a little bit of work. I have to do a teeny bit more work. And then we have all the other things that we want to do for the day. Oh, I think I got some Shiny Star V in, too. I need to open that. All right, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It's uh, it's actually, it's 11.47. I was able to catch, so far, the compost guy and the garbage guy. Our recycling guy weirdly hasn't come yet, but I have the presents ready to go, so I'm just trying to, like, keep an ear out for him so that when I hear him, and I thought that each one had two people, but I guess they've only been doing a one-man crew or whatever, so, yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of extra gifts, but that's okay. I'll find somebody to give them to. Okay, guys. I won't say that I feel productive, because I don't feel productive. That's not the word for it. But I finished shipping all the stuff that was supposed to be shipped for my Sunday stream. That way I feel good about potentially doing a stream today. I didn't want to do another stream when I still had people's stuff that I was supposed to ship out. And there was a couple of things. I had a couple of issues with some people's orders. PayPal was doing something funky with uh, somebody's order, but I think we solved that, so that was good. And then I accidentally, so like somebody, um, it was for Jessica. I shipped out her package. She lives in Canada. And I should have just paid the extra couple dollars and made shipped it through USPS because I'm way more comfortable with USPS. But I went with UPS. And I had read online that you could drop a UPS package off at USPS and then it would get to them. And I have actually done it one time before and it was fine. I did it this time and then it was weird. Like nothing happened with the tracking number. So she contacted me and I was like, oh, I don't know. But I just looked at it. It said that it, sh it shipped out today from where I'm at, but it's supposed to be delivered today. So I think that's wrong. So I don't know. I need to keep an eye on that. Um, I'm really excited because this lobster truck that's in the East Bay is in the area. And I have been trying to try this lobster. Super like overpriced lobster rolls, whatever. But I've been wanting to try this place for months. And I just like usually whenever they're somewhere, there's just a line out the door and you have to wait for hours. And they're all over the Bay Area. 
Um, but now they have an app. So I ordered it online. I ordered one for Dana as well, Dana and Lola, or Lolo to, to share. And uh, I'm gonna go pick that up in a little bit, drop it off at their house. And then I'm gonna come back here, eat, and then prep for the stream. I've been opening up tins and boxes. Look at this. This is like, not hours, but almost hours of opening up collection boxes and tins, um, ETBs to get some vivid voltage. I thought some of my packages would arrive today. Oh, I have Shiny Star V. I know you guys really like that. That was hard to find. Oh man, everything's just shot up. Everything, I mean, everything was already really expensive and now it's just shooting up and being more expensive, so that kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, and I'm I'm thinking about different things. I, I've been doing a lot of like battles on other people's streams, so I kind of was like, oh, maybe I should do, try doing a battle. That'd be fun. Um, it's hard to understand like exactly like I just did one on Pokey Kobe, Kobe Kobe's stream that I really liked where it was just like sudden it was like sudden death battle like you there's eight people and each round you open you each open up one pack and it's V versus V and whoever wins goes on to the next round so I kind of want to try something like that I thought that might be fun I don't have good prizes is the problem so I either offer like packs as prizes or like I have some graded cards not too many. Um, and then for my pity pools, I'm going to change it up because I have, you know, sometimes I just have regular hollows in the pity pools and that's kind of like not great. So I'm going to add little tags to the regular hollows that are like a pity pool. And this sounds so lame, but it's a pity pool, right? It's not a pity pool. It's a participation award. Sorry. Um, but like the stickers, like this, the card sleeves that I get from the ETBs or sometimes I get these like weird little binders, which I'm sure most people don't want these, but it's, they're kind of cool. A coin. A coin would be kind of a sad one to win in a, in a participation award because they're so little. Maybe like three coins. And, and then another thing that I've been doing on a lot of people's streams are custom booster packs, which I kind of already do to be honest. Like I make packs. They don't all have hits, but I can put things like where I can put like a GX card. That's your hit. Or maybe you win a pack of Shiny Star V. Or maybe you win, you know, three packs of Sun and Moon. Like, maybe you just win something random. Uh, but not everybody's a winner. But that's, like, really one of those, like, you take the chance. So I don't know if people would be into that. But we could see. I mean, we, I guess we could try. I don't know if I'm there yet. That might be doing too much. I think that's where I want to get to. I want to get there is my goal. I'm going to get ready to go pick up the lobster rolls. I'm petting Cube. Here he is. Here he is. Say hi, cute. <laughs> He's been outside for a few minutes. I could hear him crying outside the door, so I let him in. And now I'm petting him. And, okay, I'm trying to use, okay. The camera has a scratching post. Cube is so, I've, it was funny. Cube, like, doesn't bite. Even Mac bites if you, like, make him angry enough. Yesterday, I did make Cube a little bit angry. I was rubbing his stomach really hard when he was laying outside. And that was, I think, the first time where his claws had actually ever come out towards me. Not, like, in an aggressive way. It was, like, a playful way. I think I was over, over stimulating him. But, like, he's really strange because he just, like... <laughs> He like licks my hands all the time. And I'm like, oh, that's so weird because Mac never has done that before. So that's new. But he's he's such a fun guy. We just, okay. Every time I try to film him, he wants to use the camera to scratch him. He's got pricklies. I found his new hiding spots in the neighborhood. They're not that far. They're like a house down. But now I know like if I can't find him, I kind of know basically where he is. I can like walk up to the house and then he'll come out. Can you hear him purring? Hey bud. Hey bud. <laughs> oh cute. I love you. He's got this weird thing on his nose, but it's very distinctive. It's just like his nose is different colors and he's got this black line, which I thought might have been dirt, but it's not. It's just part of his nose. I know some cats have that. I just am not used to it because Mac, whenever he has something black on his nose, it's just dirt. That's what it is. Let's get some lobster rolls. Lobster rolls, yes. Yeah. Previously on Below Deck. So you guys know about Sorry, I won't. I won't play good. I just wanted to film you. Okay, that was so simple. I literally walked up and they had my order right there. Uh, this is from a place called Cousins. Oh no. Sorry, Cousins Maine Lobster. So they're like. 
a food truck. I think they're nationwide, actually. But I got some bisque, got a not a lobster roll. Wait a second, where are my tots? Hold on, I need to look at this. Hold on one second. I found them. Here they are. Mmm. I haven't been posting a lot about food that much. Um, tots. Those are lobster rolls. There's the bisque. I put it over there. So I'm gonna go drop a lobster roll off for Dana. And then we get to try it. I'm very excited about it. What an epic vlog fail. I showed you guys the bag for my lobster roll and I didn't even show you the lobster roll. Um, I ate the lobster roll. Here's what I'm gonna say. It was good. It was good. It was very small. It was very small and I think for the price point, because that thing cost me like $19, I think for the price point it wasn't worth it. I wouldn't, and, and honestly, the other thing about it is I personally, like my mom gets me lobster quite often and I could probably just put that in bread and then lobster roll put some butter and lemon um, it's super late it's 1 51 a.m. so it's technically the, the next day my <laughs> filming room looks like this it looks like a disaster we just did a live stream that went really well and um, it sucked because in the middle of the, or like at the very end, it shut off, so I had to do it again. I got to talk a little bit about, to you guys about the packs, which I don't think I said on the stream. I, um, the packs that I showed you guys a couple days ago, the Vivid Voltage packs, I contacted the, um, the company that I got them from. Again, it's a, a very well-known and trusted, like I trust them. Um, they have a YouTube channel as well. And so I talked to them and they were like, no, we would never do that, which I trust. I wasn't sure because they used a different vendor, you know, but they offered to take the packs back and ship me new ones and I was like, don't worry about it. I just want to tell you guys this is what I'm receiving because if I'm getting this and thinking that the packs are resealed, I'm pretty sure other people are also receiving those packs and going, what the hell, and thinking the packs are resealed. Um, so yeah, so I just was kind of like sharing that with them. Uh, don't plan to blast who it is because again, I still trust them. They're still a trustworthy YouTuber and seller and I'm still going to buy stuff from them. It was just kind of like, whoa, what is this? So yeah, um, they said that they're gonna send me some bonus packs, we'll see. I don't know, I just got another package actually from them too. So um, anyways, <sighs> successful stream minus when YouTube like totally just kicked me out of the stream and I didn't know how to get back in so I just started a new stream which was unfortunate but it was fine. Um, thank you to anyone who's been joining me on these streams. I have so much fun. I have so much fun doing these streams even with like because I'm gonna have to ship all these tomorrow, but this should, shouldn't take me too long. I just like have so much fun opening packs and then like seeing what people got and it's just fun for me. Like it's really, really a lot of fun for me. So I really appreciate you guys. I know a lot of you guys buy packs for me and you don't even collect Pokemon cards. I know a lot of you guys are buying packs for me and just like to support me and I really do appreciate that. We did a new thing today where it was a random pack battle. I kind of messed up the setup so um, people weren't adding to it until later on, but I think it ended up going well and then I got to open up packs for myself So for me, it was worth it and I feel like people did pretty good on that and uh, Yeah, and I still yet to finish Doing advent calendars. I'm thinking maybe I should just like Maybe I should just like Post my vlogmas without the advent calendars and just put a thing that says advent calendars calendars coming soon And then I just do one video. That's just all advent calendars. I think I might do that. I actually think I might do that I think I have a better chance of Posting things if I did that. I think that's the way to go. All right. I'm making the decision. I'm not even gonna ask you guys I'm just gonna do it. I'm going to tomorrow. I'm just gonna upload all this footage and uh, I'm gonna upload all this footage and then I'm going to my uncle um, texted me and it's kind of late so now I'm worried and I don't want to look at it. Uh, I'm going to start just uh, editing my Vlogmas videos and posting them. Oh great, look, you can't see me. And then I'll do the advent calendars at some point later on because that way, because my Vlogmas videos for the most part, minus the, the advent calendars are actually what take the longest and I don't know if that's why I don't like to do them. Ugh, I forgot that new light switch, it just is a little bit finicky. The advent calendars actually are what take usually the most when I'm doing my vlogmas to film and to edit. So maybe that's what it is. I know sometimes I struggle a little bit when I know something's going to take a long time. I it like, I'm like, oh, oh I don't want to do that. So that maybe that's what it is. I guess that could be it. Um, but I think I'm going to get ready for bed, go to sleep, wake up. And I was excited because 
today I woke up and I was like, it's only Tuesday, I have so many days. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and be like, oh, it's already Wednesday, ugh, I'm already like a quarter done with my vacation. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how my mind's gonna work. But um, I feel like I've been somewhat productive, sort of, um, during this time. I've been productive with my pack breaks. It's like it's like the thing that I like look forward to. So I might be doing a pack break on Christmas. I'm probably not gonna post this video in time for you to know that, but I'll make sure I actually put an announcement out. And uh, yeah, okay, I am going to bed feeling super, super happy and just like, I just feel, you guys just, you guys make my day and I get to do, like you can, I can tell it with me personally, like clearly, and I told you guys this, like I'm trying to focus on doing what I wanna do instead of like doing things because, oh, I'm gonna get lots of views. Like I could just be still doing Funko Pops, right? And be getting some dope views on my channel and getting a lot of AdSense or whatever, but it's not, like it wasn't fulfilling me. And I still have Funko Pop boxes that I, I wanna open, but not like overly. And so I need to like, I just want to get to the point where I, I want to do it. You know, it's like, I'm not doing it cause I feel forced to do it. I just want to do it. And I felt like Funko Pops and even sub boxes were feeling a little bit forced, um, as of late. That's why I kind of stopped doing it. Cause I always told myself, if you're not enjoying it, don't do it. I've always told myself with that in life. And sometimes I forget that. And I, I'm still doing things because I feel like I have to do them. And then, you know, and then I, I I hate it, and then I just don't even want to do it at all. I stop, and I'm very black and white sometimes. So I just stop cold turkey. So I'm just trying to like look around and go, hey, you want to do pack breaks? Great. Hey, you want to do Funko Pops? Great. Whatever it is that I want to do is what I'm doing. Um, but I'm really enjoying the pack breaks a lot. Like I'm really really happy, you guys. It's like so much fun for me. It's like so much fun. I love when we pull something, and I love looking at the comments. Like my first reaction, I wish I could see all of you guys. Like my first reaction is like, let's look at the comments and see. Could you imagine if we did like a zoom and then like I, it was just me, but then all of you guys could like show your face, which would be kind of deadly. Cause I can imagine that like somebody would do something like, could you imagine the trolls on a zoom call? All the trolls that we get, what they would do. I don't even know what they would do, but anyways, yeah. I love sharing that with you guys. I love being like, Oh, you guys all think it's a fire pole. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop talking about that now and uh, I'm gonna go to bed thank you guys so much I will see you guys I don't know if the advent calendar is gonna be after this or if I'm just gonna do what I said but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens all right I'll talk to you later bye good morning everybody what a weird day today has been I'm really getting the hang of the whole sleeping in thing probably a little bit too much it's going to be challenging I think for me if I keep doing this to revert back to my normal schedule once the vacation's over but it's two weeks. I mean, I can figure it out, right? I think so. Uh, you guys, hello and good morning. And it's actually not morning at all. Oh, my Apple Watch. What day is today? What day is today? Welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. Today's Wednesday, December 23rd. It's like late. I think it's like, what time is it? 1.48. It's 1.48. I... Got up really late. It's because I stayed up really late. I had a blast in the live stream last night and my adrenaline was just like intense and I could not go to sleep. So I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos. Finally went to sleep, I don't know what time. And I slept in until like late today. Um, I'm currently watching Scammer Payback. I've never caught him live, so I'm, I'm watching him live. I will say the live videos are not as, uh, Fun for me to watch in the edited ones just because like it's really slow. Um, but I was interested because I have never seen anything go down live with his channel. Scammer Payback. I watch him and I watch, um, oh, what's the other guy's name? It starts with a D, I think. Uh, they basically, you know, there's like scammers that are from wherever where they, they scam old people into getting them gift cards and sending it to them or whatever. Anyways, um... I'm watching that. I'm about to start ship, uh, packaging and shipping out all of these stuff from last night's stream because I want to try to get that to the post office by 5 p.m. today. Pretty confident that I'm going to be able to do that because it doesn't, nobody's order was like so crazy. The ones that are hard are either if there's international, which I don't think anybody was international, but I don't remember. And then also if they like have a ton of cards and they don't fit in the purple, in my normal purple envelopes and I have to like find other things. Those are the only ones that are like somewhat challenging, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll probably put on, 
honestly I think I might rewatch The Queen's Gambit again, but I am finishing up rewatching The Crown season four, so I might finish that and then watch The Queen's Gambit. And then I need to clean up, I wanna clean up the other room because it's a hot mess. I always leave it like that, but I need to clean it up. I want to upload all of my vlog footage so I can just start um, editing videos and kicking them out and then I'll just do the advent calendars at a later date because I clearly suck at that. So you would think I would figure it out by now, but man, I really just, I really just haven't. So yeah. Anyways, um, today is just a Wednesday. Um, just a normal Wednesday. I did a teeny bit of work things, just a teeny bit. I, I do check my emails just to make sure, um, cause there are some people who are like, I'm checking some things, you know, with them and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, all in all, good day so far. Uh, I gotta go check on Cube. I let him outside before I took my shower. So I don't know, I gotta see if he wants to come in. Mac is taking a nap again. Tess is doing her own thing. You know, it's just normal day in the household here. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and see how quickly I can package up these cards so I can get them shipped today. <gasps> if I get them shipped today, maybe I'll go. There is across the street from the post office, there's this Vietnamese restaurant, and they make noodles, and they're very good. Like chow mein noodles, but I like them a lot. And it's from a Vietnamese restaurant. They must be like a mixture of Chinese, but yeah. Hmm, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm excited now. Okay, let's do it. Let's get the day started. Yes! I took a shower. I was gonna vlog after I took my shower, but then I was like, I I think it was last year I vlogged, like there was like one vlog where I was literally just in my towel the whole time. I'm like, what was I doing? So then I didn't, but then I literally just lay, like what I do is I get out of the shower and then I just like lay in my towel for like hours. That's what I did today. Literally that's what I did just now. And then I was like, I should get up and get dressed. That's vacation life for you, right? Look at me, look at me. Yes. All right, I packed everybody's stuff that wanted shipping. I reorganized all the people who didn't want shipping because there's a little bit more than there was before, of course. So I got an extra couple boxes and I, I'm sorting them a little bit different. I am going to drop these off and then I'm gonna go get myself some tacos because I'm hungry. What's up guys, future Steph here. Uh, I totally forgot to vlog yesterday. Honestly, I couldn't even find my vlog camera, but it was in my backpack. Uh, day 24 was great. Christmas Eve, uh, my parents came over. That's usually when we celebrate Christmas. We had a small dinner. My dad made a rib roast. Uh, Rob made synagogue. My dad made vegetables. I made a gravy. My sister made sorbet. My mom made salmon. Um, we just had a quick dinner. Uh, that was really good. I forgot to put the white rice away, which I'm just realizing now, but luckily I can still put it away. Um, and what else happened? Uh, Chris and I got Dana a Keurig for Christmas, and so Dana got to open that. I was super jittery at dinner because Dana, we tested out all this Keurig coffee, and I was like super jittery, and it was crazy. Um, that's basically all I did. I cleaned, I cleaned a little bit in the downstairs, kind of. Um, and yeah, so I think that's it. And I don't even know if I'm going to be doing advent calendars on my vlogs now because I think I'm just going to be doing them all in one shot. So this is a really quick video, I suppose. I hope that you guys had a great Christmas Eve. I don't know when people celebrate Christmas. I celebrate, we usually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So today is, today is Christmas, but um, we already celebrated yesterday. Anyways, what else, was that all that happened yesterday? I think that's literally all that happened. Nothing. That was it. I got a Costco delivery. What did I get from Costco? Some like little Smokies for my sister. I got the Keurig that got delivered. And uh, potato pancakes, potato pancakes, and some bacon and stuff. This is called living the life. I didn't do anything. Um, okay, well I just wanted to say hello and uh, cause I feel bad and I wanted to tell you guys about the stuff. I just couldn't find my camera. So there you go. That's the stuff. There's the scoop. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. Oh, hello, not future stuff here today. Welcome to day 25 of Vlogmas. I don't know how long Vlogmas is going for, but I'm not doing a good job at it. Actually, I'm doing an okay job at vlogging. I'm just not doing a good job at actually posting. I'm like two weeks behind now. That's okay, it happens. Um, what's up guys? Steph here, welcome to day 25 of Vlogmas. Merry Christmas for those of you who celebrate Christmas. I don't know, I'm not super familiar with all of the other holidays. There's Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and there's one other one that I think I know of 
but I, I can't think of it. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day with your families. I know that a lot of places are in lockdown, so I saw my parents yesterday, so I get to not do anything today, which is great. That's how normally Christmas is for me, though. We don't usually celebrate Christmas on Christmas. We're usually eating leftover hot pot, which sounds delicious now, um, but I have a lot of leftovers. I'm about to do a stream in like, oh gosh, in like in an hour or so, um, but before I do that, I wanted to quickly get all of my neighbor gifts out because I forgot to do it yesterday and so I have them all here so I'm gonna quickly finish that and then I need to go upstairs sort through all my Pokemon cards because I'm doing a stream at 1 and we're gonna do so I'm gonna open up some packages I need to sort through all these munch packs I have a bunch of munch packs that I need to bring up because I need to open those before they go bad so yeah it should be a pretty exciting day a chill day as per usual and I'm streaming on Christmas because like for me right I'm not celebrating Christmas and Christmas and because of the lockdown, I'm not really going to be hanging out with my family. So I'm just chilling and I figured there's other people just chilling and not really having much to do and maybe are away from their families because of the lockdown or because they just live far away from their family. So we can hang out. We can hang out together and celebrate Christmas. I'm very excited about it. All right. Let me finish these neighborhood gifts so I can go get these out and then we can uh, do our business. Hey, Mac. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Hey! You don't like my singing? Mac? Mac? He's like very intently looking out the window. I wonder if he can see the kittens. That could be it. Okay. Merry Christmas, bud. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas. You don't like my dance either? Okay. I danced for him and he didn't, he didn't even like that. Which is Merry Merry Christmas, da 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 da. Merry Merry Christmas, da 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 da. Hey, no, no, <laughs> nothing. Uh, the kittens went outside, so let me do this now because I'm running out of time. I get distracted. See, that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay, I just delivered all of the gifts, and it's funny because first of all, it started raining. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain today, and secondly, I don't actually know all my neighbors very well and so they all have like all the ones that have ring doorbells they're probably like who is that what is that what are they doing but whatever I wrote it in the card okay I ran because it was raining Whew. there's this one neighbor that I met I don't know exactly where she lives though but she has a black cat as well and I want to get her a gift but I just don't I just don't know where she lives I was gonna guess I think I can guess where she lives but what if it's not where she lives. That would be not good. Cause then I would talk about having a black cat with somebody who doesn't have a black cat and then they would think I'm a creeper. All right, Whew. I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat and then get ready for the stream. Cause it's, uh, it's go time, it's go time, let's do it. All right guys, wow, that was a long stream. I didn't plan to stream that long. It's almost seven o'clock. That was almost a six hour stream. I just ended, I opened up all my munch packs though, which was super exciting cause I've been wanting to open those and I have more snacks now. So I'm gonna let this guy out because he wants to go out. He's been itching to go out. He's been sleeping though. And then I'm gonna sit and I wanna watch The Crown. And I'm gonna watch some other things. And it's gonna be really good and I'm excited about it. And I'm gonna eat some real food. I think I'm gonna have some leftover soup. Um, I really want some of that Singo soup. Oh, my battery's running out. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit, bye. Hello guys, it is nearing the end of the night. It's already 10.20, I'm exhausted. Look at this mess. Well, it also looks like more of a mess because technically I opened all my munch pack boxes, but I'm gonna have to clean all that tomorrow, get that taken care of. Um, man, today was fun. I really had fun doing this stream. It was a little bit long. It's cause I haven't learned how to like <laughs> follow through with time. Still working on that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to, tomorrow I'm going to pack up the cards. I wanted to tell you guys, um, you guys know how I told you guys I do like other streamers and I battle. I battled tonight on Royalty Gaming Stream. It's still going right now. And I won! I won! So he does a battle where you, six people, uh, it's $33 to get into a Vivid Voltage battle. And then... Everybody gets to open up six packs and whoever has out of just your hits whoever has the best hits get all of them So you don't get the bulk cards. You only get the hits and um, so yeah, I did that and I got myself another Pikachu V full art which I already have one, but it's cool to get another one and I got two amazing rares 
and just a bunch of other random cards, but it's cool. Like, it was cool to finally win one because I, I never win that thing. I've entered so many times and I never win, so that was really exciting. It was, And the Pikachu Full Art V was the first card that I pulled, so that was nice. Like, I kind of had a standing lead, and I was just hoping that, like, no one got the Hyper Rare Pikachu or that the same person didn't get the two Amazing Rares, and that was, it was lucky for me, so. What else? I don't even know. I'm super tired, so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with the flow. I've been staying up way too late lately watching TikTok, so hopefully I won't go on TikTok. I'm gonna try to stay away from TikTok. I always go to bed at like 10.30, and then I end up being up until like two because I'm on TikTok, so I'm gonna try to not do that. Um, tomorrow I gotta upload all the footage in this camera, which is like two weeks worth, and post it, and then I gotta figure out when I'm gonna do my um, advent calendar extravaganza, which I think will probably be Sunday, because I, I don't think, I don't think it's feasible for me to do it tomorrow because I want to be packing, so I might be doing it on Sunday. Um, so we'll see. That's where I get to open up all my admin calendars because I know that I'm going to not be able to do it um, for the actual vlogs. Okay. Well, I hope you guys had a very great Christmas. Thank you to anyone who joined me for my stream. We had like 130 people there at some point, which was really cool and really exciting. I thought we were going to have like 20 people because I was like, it's Christmas. But it was really cool to see you guys and hang out with you guys. Um, if you want to hear a really funny story about my uh, family dinner, because I don't think I talked about it on this vlog, you can go watch that stream. And it's a pretty good story. It's a pretty good story, I must say. It's probably one of the best. And I was surprised I actually, I was talking to Amy afterwards. I was like, I'm surprised I even shared it with you guys because it's like kind of like, like, not inappropriate, but kind of. <laughs> but it's funny. She shared it with her mom. That's so funny. Anyways, all right. Well, I uh, thanks for joining me today again. And uh, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. What's up, guys? Steph here, and welcome to day 26 of Vlogmas. I'm going to need to go back while I'm editing my Vlogmas videos and see how many lazy days I've had in the past week because today was a, the ultimate lazy day. I woke up late. I didn't get out of bed until forever. And then when I got out of bed, I fed the cats and did all my like daily things. And then I just laid on the couch. I think I took naps. I watched a lot of Below Deck. Uh, it's already 6.41 p.m. and I'm currently up here. This is my filming room, which is still a hot disaster. I need to clean it, but I just moved all the bags that need to be shipped into the other room and I'm about to move my computer so that I can do all the shipping things but I wanted to upload all the vlog footage so I uploaded that to my computer so hopefully tonight I can go through and just start editing vlogs and just shooting them out because my goal is by tomorrow I want to be able to do an advent extravaganza live with you guys but I want to post all of my vlog videos first. I don't know if that's going to happen but well, I don't know. We'll just go with it. We're going to try. So that's what I'm doing. And I have been trying to find things to buy online for our pack breaks. Like I know like evolutions is so popular with you guys, but I haven't been able to find them. I think I found one option. So um, I'm looking at that to see if I can make that happen. And I got, um, I got another uh, vivid voltage booster box in today, which is so exciting. So Anyways, um, I think that, I guess we're just, I don't know, we're just going to be organizing, cleaning, and shipping. I, I, since I woke up late, I woke up at like, honestly, it was like 11.30 and realized like there's no way I could get the shipping done today because the post office closes at 1 on Saturday. So that would have been ridiculously like, I'm not that talented. So I'm going to pack everything, hopefully tonight. And then it'll definitely be shipped out on Monday, if not tomorrow. But if I do it tomorrow, I have to drop it off at a different post office, and I'm not quite sure about that. I'm a little bit uncertain about that, so we'll see what happens. I might just wait until Monday and then drop it off at the, uh, at the location that I'm supposed to drop it off at. Okay, well, I just wanted to check in with you, say hello. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Jennifer. And uh, I texted her, but she didn't text me back, and it was like a green text message, so it wasn't even iMessage, so hopefully she's okay. I guess I could try calling her a little bit later. And I ate leftovers. Oh, if you guys didn't see my stream, we did some munch pack openings. And tell me why I didn't realize these came from the UK. These are giant Skittles. But I guess in the UK, the green Skittles are still lime. What is that about? What the heck? Although these purple Skittles were not grape. They were black currant. And I was not a huge fan of that, even though I like black currant. Well, I like black currant chew which I got these apple ones. 
Um, I'm gonna see if Dana wants to take a lot of the like sweet food items and then maybe her and Maddie can do like a food test, taste test thing because I don't really like the sweet items. They're not my favorite. I liked, I ate all the savory items. I ate all the chips that I got. They're all gone. I ate them all. They were delicious. All right, let's do some things. Let's like not have the ultimate lazy day, but just a, it was only a little bit of a lazy day. Let's get a lot done today. Then I'll feel really good about myself. Yay. Yay for feeling good about yourself. Yes. What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, Steph here, whatever I say, welcome to day 27 of Vlogmas. Today's Sunday, December 27th. It's nighttime. Um, it's 7.50. Again, spent another lazy day. I got out of bed late and literally just watched TV all day downstairs. Hung out with the cats, took naps, ate food. It's pretty bland. Uh, I realized, because I, I was wondering, like, I'm usually really into Vlogmas. And this year's been a little bit tough, and I think it's just because I don't really do anything. I literally just sit here and do nothing. And I, for, I realized today, though, I don't think I closed out yesterday's vlog. Last night, I had to open up all of... Well, I finished packing up all of my shipping that's going to go up tomorrow for my stream that happened on Christmas Day. And then I went through all of these collection boxes so that I could get this box of um, packs. And I'm just trying to organize, I'm trying to organize myself because I want to do another live pack break tomorrow. And so, oh, hey bud, hey Mac, whoa, 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 whoa. Mac just went outside so he's all like hyper now. He gets really, he gets really, really hyper when he goes outside. Like really intense. Whoa, that was cool. Good job, bud. Well, that was neat. I'm glad I got that on camera. So yeah, I'm going to um, try to clean up this mess. I have a few more collection boxes that I just got in that I need to open and sort through. Um, I've been making some booster box purchases, and yeah, I'm just really excited. Honestly, the pack break thing and the shipping of the pack break stuff, like, it's really, like, rejuvenated me. Like, I really enjoy them. I want to do them every night. Um, I was going to do one tonight, but I feel bad since I have this thing in my head that I can't do a pack break if I still have things I need to ship out. But I think I need to get over that because I, I kind of want to make it a goal this week to do some kind of pack break every single day. But only, but like not six hours, right? Like do it like two hours or three hours at most. The problem is that I really like doing them. So like once time goes on, I'm like, oh yeah. But if I limit it to like, let's say I shut down the site after two hours because I'm usually an hour behind, then that would make sense. Then it would be like at most three hours. So I think maybe I'll do that. But um, since I don't have, since I'm not doing advent calendars on these vlogs right now, I have a bunch of packages that I want to open. So I thought I would do that with you guys here. I didn't get a chance to do it on, the, on my last live stream, so I figured why not just do it in the vlog. These are all Pokemon cards though, so if you don't like Pokemon cards, then, then look away. Alright, let me go grab all of them. They're in the other room and we can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're currently in my shipping room. So this is from some kind of pack battle that I did. Let's see what I got. A Graplock V card. Oh, I can use, oh, I should use my phone stand as a card thing. Sorry, the glare is atrocious though. We got a Charmeleon Reverse Hollow, a Charizard. We got, was this a Galarian uh, Rapidash? And then we got a Scorch V. Oh my God, the, 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 the focus sucks. Jeez, what's happening? So, sent to Scorch V. Glaring Rapidash Shiny. That's from Japanese Shiny Star. We got a Dragapult and then the full art Shiny Dragapult, which they shipped in a card saver. Look at them fancy pants. Here, okay. Oh, so this looks like Hidden Fates. A Buzzwool GX. Full art Shiny. Okay, what do we get? A Break Ride Chew. It's funny that they sleeve that. So we got a full art ditto uh, from Shiny Star V and a Mr. Rhyme. Amazing rare Kyogre. Kyog Kyo I like to call him Kyogre. I don't know if that's how you say it. Kogre. Um, Obstagoon, I think, for that one. Shiny. Oh, wow. Oh, these are my battle pins. So these were the pins that I won. I won both of my battles. That's very cool. Okay, what do we get? Okay, we have a, sh a small shiny. Is that Hoot Hoot? Dragapult, or Toxtricity V. 
We have a Lapras V. We have Eternatus V Max. Eternatus V. We got the Machamp and Mars Shadow GX. And then we have, what is that, Zacian. I forgot what that person's name is. Ch Phalinx and a Gardevoir. Wow, let's see what we got. Oh look, all card savers. They say card savers are nice because the card doesn't move in the card saver, but I just don't like how flexible it is. I think if you're shipping it with like cardboard, then it's good, but in these little bags, I always get worried. Zerud V, Double V, Togekiss V Full Art, Mega Gardevoir EX, Shiny Galarian Surfetched. We have mm, Pikachu and somebody else, Tag Team Toxtricity V. We've got this one. We have a Gibble Shiny and then a Nido King Break. So my Whatnot prize pack is a pin, a button, and a sticker. This pack was really expensive. I think I paid like, it, I don't even want to tell you guys. It was way too much. You know, you get really into it on the auctions. Oh, but I did get, well, I got a reverse nine. Oh, that's funny. I In one pack, I got the reverse nine tails and a hollow nine tails. That's kind of funny. I got, these are, so this was a lot of packs. This was a lot of packs, and I got, these are the hits that I got. I'm not complaining, though, because I think I needed a lot of these for my collection, for my Vivid Voltage collection. I got a Memory Capsule Gold. Um, so not terrible, but, like, for the amount of packs, like, I think I ended up with, like, 40 packs. It was a lot of packs and not very many hits compared to that, comparatively. And the people before me and the people after me got really big hits. So that was kind of sad, but it happens. That's part of the game, right, with Pokemon cards. Um, for those of you who saw my previous... Uh, vlogs. The Vivid Voltage packs that I got from that one company that were kind of not in great condition, they um, they apologized first and said, of course we didn't resell our packs, but that wasn't in good condition. And so they sent me some extra things. Uh, they sent me, what is this, five packs of Vivid Voltage, which is cool. I told them, they were, again, they asked me if I wanted to exchange the, um, the cards and I was like, nah, I trusted them. And we, you know, we ended up opening those cards during my live stream that one night. And, uh, you know, we ended up getting some hits, which was nice. So anyways, I appreciate them, you know, sending me some extra packs just to say, uh, thank you. And, or I don't know, but yeah, I do really, I still support them. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but I still support them. Super um, glad that we worked that out and that if they just confirmed that what, you know, what I believe to be resale packs weren't and all that stuff. All right. Sorry. That was kind of a really random. That was so random, but I wanted to unbox those. I've been working on custom booster packs to, to sell during my, during my streams. I think they're going to be about $10 because there's going to be chances to win things like you know, maybe an Evos pack or maybe a Shiny Star V, but every pack is going to get hit. So I got to look through all these cards, um, but the hit might just be like a V card or it could be a Shiny card. It could be something. There'll be a hit in every pack, but some packs will have prize cards and the prize cards will be like, oh, you want a pack of GX Tag Team All-Stars or something. Um, something that's higher, if I, if I sell them for $10, something that's higher than $10. So I'm still working that out right now. Just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, guys. Um, I think that I'm going to do some stuff, get the TV on. Uh, I need to clean both rooms. So I, I'm going to try to do that so I don't feel overwhelmed. And then I want to start editing my vlog videos because I want to try to just shoot them out. Shoot them out starting tonight. I'm just going to start shooting them out. And then you guys can go back and watch them if you want. It's kind of late in the game, I know. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. You know, sorting Pokemon cards really just, it can take forever. Uh, guys, look, I organized my space. I cleaned it up. I picked all the garbage up off the floor. I'm watching 100 Foot Journey because I love that movie. And I'm getting ready for bed. I got to go find the cats. I let Cube outside because he was like dying to go outside earlier again. So like, okay, I'll let you go outside. But I am going to finish up here and then head to bed. And then hopefully get a bunch of stuff done tomorrow. All right. Oh, I just want to check in with you guys. Say hello. Say good night. And uh, I'll see you guys. Oh, this is real loud. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys Bye.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome today. I have no idea what the 28 day 28 of vlogmas. Today is Monday, December 28th. I have so much stuff I need to do. I told myself I get up not late, and now it's officially late because it's almost 11 o'clock. Hi, Q. Good morning. I have to get up. There's a few things that I have to do this morning. I gotta finish up a couple work things that I didn't do last week. And then I need to, um, I need to finish a couple shipping packages and then go to the post office to drop everything off. Those are like the main things. My goals, like my ultimate goals would be to uh, do my advent extravaganza stream. And then I do wanna do a pack break once I drop off the other packages in the mail, so. Those are like my, my pipe dreams. Those are like, like, if I can make it happen, I will. But if not, it's not a big deal. I also want to start editing and starting to post like my old vlogs. Alright, I just want to say good morning. Me and Mac are cuddling. Our morning cuddles. Cube is kneading the blanket. I don't even know if you can see him. We thought we lost Tess last night, but she ended up coming back and that was nice. And then Tess and Cube got into a fight. Oh, never mind. Okay. Alright, I'll check in with you guys later. Hello, guys. Mm. It's like hours later. It's almost 2 o'clock right now. I just ordered sushi that just arrived. So I'm going to eat that. I've been trying to finish up my work project, which I'm almost done with. And then when I'm done eating and done with the work project, I can take care of my shipping. So I need it, I have like a few hours, but I wanna make sure I drop that off today. And then I'm probably prepped for another stream. I just got some tag team, GX tag team all-star, the Japanese cards, which a lot of you guys have been asking me about, so I'm really excited to have that on my next stream. This is what I like to get when I get sushi. It's salmon sashimi, and this is salmon belly nigiri, um, which I love. I, I don't actually eat it with the nigiri, I usually just like eat the fish on top but it's so good it's so fatty and so delicious and of course i don't like wasabi so i do sriracha with soy sauce all right i'm gonna eat and do things and keep watching the crown I, i'm re-watching the crown again i shouldn't do that i'm sure there's plenty of other things i can watch but i really just like the first couple seasons of the crown it's my favorite look at that fatty salmon yes Hello guys, it's so late. It's not that late, it's like midnight. I just finished my stream, like a, not that long ago. That almost went six hours. I was trying to only do it for like two hours. So I gotta work on that. My back is killing me, I don't know what happened. It hurt, it started hurting right before the stream, which kind of sucked, because I was super uncomfortable sitting. Um, I'm gonna eat a quick bean cheese and rice burrito. Organic, I don't know why I said it like that, organic. I was gonna say all organic, and I'm gonna eat it with some hot sauce, my favorite hot sauce. And then I'm giving Cube some outside time before I go to bed. Because he gets, he has to come inside. I don't know where Tess is. Tess goes in and out freely. So hopefully she comes back. But I'm going to eat, watch some Crown, I think. I started re-watching again. I'm obviously addicted to certain shows. I would watch The Queen's Gambit, but I'm going to keep watching that with my dad whenever he comes over. So anyways, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, why, hello there. Everybody, welcome to day 29 of Vlogmas. Ooh, I have so much to do today. I got up early to take out all the trash and recycling. Then I went back to sleep, didn't wake up until like 10.30, didn't get out of bed until 11. I need to stop doing that. I'm currently watching The Crown. I just cleaned all the dishes that were in the sink, and I think I'm gonna try to whip up some fried rice using the leftover prime rib from our Christmas Eve dinner. And then I need to go upstairs. I need to pack um, some of the cards that I need to ship out today. At two o'clock, the stash loot battle is happening and I have three slots in that. Uh, taking a book out of Vitaly's playbook. Taking a page out of Vitaly's playbook. Uh, just kidding, I actually usually buy two to three of them, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically, I'm trying to kind of clean the house a little bit because my dad is maybe coming over today to make soup or he's gonna bring soup. But I want to show you guys this. Look at this, look at this. These finally came in the mail. These are Pokemon stickers that I got. So anyone who buys packs for me, 
uh, and that I ship out starting today are gonna get uh, one to two stickers in their package, maybe just one. Um, these should last me a while, but we'll see. I thought it was just a fun touch just because I can't keep up, like I was giving everyone an extra pack of cards, but one, I was having trouble keeping up making the cards. Making packs, I'm sorry, this is kind of loud. Making packs of cards is actually very time consuming. It's really time consuming actually. Um, so I'm still gonna do it, especially for like the prize boxes at my work. But for you guys, um, I'm trying to potentially start doing my custom booster packs, which will have things in them instead. Oh, my battery's running out. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the stickers that I got. I, oh, I also got a tripod for my, my Osmo 3 that I have. Very excited about that. Okay, I'll check in you guys a little bit later, bye. I know you guys always want to see me do cooking videos, which I don't cook very often, but I thought I would just show you how I make my fried rice. It's kind of a mixture of just cooking and Benihana's. All right, onions all chopped. My eyes, some of the onion juice like flung into my eyeballs. Ugh. Okay, I cut up my beef, but this is kind of a lot of beef because I only have this much rice. So the ratio, I don't usually like a meaty fried rice to be honest, I usually make vegetarian fried rice, but I wanna make sure I don't waste it. So I'm gonna go ahead, here's my cubes of fat that I'm gonna render, and then I'm gonna toss the meat, I'm gonna cook the meat, but only very little, and then I'm gonna dump the rice in. All right, fat is cooking up. Oh my God, look at this deliciousness. All right, onions going in. And I'm also gonna put just a little bit of this chopped garlic from my fridge. All right, time for the meat. I can't show you guys because it's hard to film, but I'll, I'll put one scoop in there and then I'll dump it all. So I don't usually cook fried rice with meat. I usually just make vegetarian fried rice. I think what I'm gonna do is, is heat this up a little bit, let this cook up, not too much though. And I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna cook the rice separately. Um, I should have saved the fat for the rice. That was my fault. I messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. You live and you learn, right? This is all gonna end up going back in the rice. I just don't wanna overcook the meat while I'm cooking the rice, so. It happens, what are you gonna do? I changed my mind. I'm gonna do a really, really quick sear with the frozen veggies just to heat them up. That way I can just dump everything in once the rice is done cooking and then we'll just do a final toss and get everything mixed together. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then I'm just using some Trader Joe's corn and peas. All right, did a really quick, quick uh, cook on the peas and carrots. I mean the peas and corn. I definitely was eating some of the meat and onions. It's delicious. I have the pan back on. I'm gonna do oil, but I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna dump the, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of that garlic in there again, and then it'll be time to dump the rice in. Oops. The rice is a little bit hard. Let's just scrape it down. I probably need to add a little bit of liquid to this for sure. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, let me get this broken up. All right, the rice is a little bit dry, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna cover this right now and let it kind of cook down. Just to kind of steam the rice a teeny bit. You want dry rice, but this is a little bit too dry, so we're just gonna give it a few minutes. All right, it's Benihana time. I cracked the egg in a ramekin first because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to crack it with one hand while holding the camera. I'm gonna let this butter melt. And I like cooking my egg this way because I actually don't like big chunks of egg in my fried rice how it normally is. So when you do it this way, basically the, the egg kind of attaches itself to the rice. Just mix it around and then let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna stir this. I wish I had more eggs, because this is not very many eggs. But as you can see, the egg kind of just attaches to the rice. You almost don't know that it's there and it actually helps brown the rice as well. When I've cooked this for work, I usually actually have a wok so it's kind of interesting doing this in a small frying pan, but we're making it work. All right, this is not gonna fit all this, but we're gonna dump all this deliciousness in. Well, this is such a meaty fried rice. I don't usually have any meat. Now there is some, um, still some chunks of fat in here, which I thought would be actually good when you take a bite into the fried rice. I think what I might do is actually take half of this out and I'm gonna make a spicy version where I add sriracha. I love sriracha fried rice. It's one of my favorite things. All right, I took about half out regular. I'm gonna give that to Dana's parents, but this is gonna be my spicy batch, so I'm just gonna 
douse this with some sriracha. And the good thing about sriracha is it has some sugar, so when you when you cook it, it actually helps get that char on the rice a little bit. Not burning, but caramelization. Okay, I think I'm about done. I shouldn't have added that extra water in the beginning because even though the rice was dry, all the liquid from the vegetables and the meat uh, definitely probably was enough to get it rehydrated. Here's my spicy version. I probably got a little bit more sriracha. It's not that spicy. And then here's the regular. That looks so sad. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I wanted my rice crispy, so I put just the amount that I'm gonna eat right now back in the pan, and I'm just gonna let it crisp up a little bit. Just a little bit, not too long, just a little bit. Just a little bit, I added a little bit of oil too. All right, rice got crispy just how I like it. I added some fresh green onions. I added a little bit more sriracha because why not? And I think this is ready to eat. Hopefully it's not too spicy. It wasn't spicy before, but Dana's probably gonna come and get some and I don't wanna make it too spicy. Mm. She has. With the chunks of fat. Oh my god. The green the fresh green onions are great. And it just gives it a fresh green crispy taste to it. Yes. I'm pretty proud of myself. I wish I had a little bit more egg, but I think other than that, job well done. Okay, I'm watching my battle, but look at this. Mac is in the hammock. He's never been in the in the hammock before. How cool is that? All right, this is my turn right now. Can you guys see it's kind of blurry? What's hilarious about this whole cat tree thing is like, Tess is the only one who ever goes in the hammock and she just doesn't know. Tess is like, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Why is he in my hammock? She tried to go in the little box a little bit ago, but she's just like, no, the hammock, that's where I sleep. And she's like, hey, that's my spot. <laughs> Mac doesn't even care. I've never, literally Mac has never gone in that hammock before. That's so funny. That's so funny. All is right in the world. Mac is on the bed. And Tess is back in the hammock. What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here. Welcome back to another Vlogmas episode. Uh, today is Wednesday, November 30th. It's kind of early in the morning, but I decided I want to do a pack break. I haven't done a pack break in the morning. I usually do it kind of late at night. So I'm going to test this out and see if we can get a few people. If not, no worries. I can maybe open up packs. I shouldn't though because I've been opening up a lot of packs lately. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. And then Dana and I are going to eat Berea Tacos. There's this place we've been trying to try. And I got some hot chocolate and tea K-Cups. And even though I don't have a Keurig yet, I'm going to bring it over to Dana's house and then try their Keurig. I'm so excited for it, yes. And they have a massage chair, and I can sit in the massage chair. Yes! All right, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Oh my gosh, okay, if you saw my stream, there's Dana. Oh! At least I'm telling I you this don't, time. Don't <laughs> okay, my camera sucks at focusing, so that's oh, yeah. terrible. Uh, so we got burrito tacos, We I added the cheese, and then it comes with the consume, what is this, consomme or broth? It's oh, broth. I'm so excited, that and there's limes. Really good. I know, I heard, and people dip, did you dip your taco mm -hmm. in it? And I'm then sure here's all the different then. sauces and everything. So we're gonna try it now. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, I'm never putting again! <laughs> yes, that's a third. This is the third attempt. Third's a charm. <laughs> I just took two bites thinking I was recording. Okay. You have to buy like more tacos just to. I just took a bite of a couple bites of my taco. The meat is delicious. The burrito in here, which is like, was it marinated beef? Mm, yeah. It's so good. I get my tacos without cilantro because I don't like cilantro. Mm. Let's try to dip it in the sauce. Mm -hmm. so, and I guess this is the same sauce they cook it in. Yeah, so when you get burrito tacos, usually it comes with this. Oh, great. My battery's running out, of course. Yeah, this brothy it? sauce. So I'm going to change my battery. I'm going to dip the taco <laughs> in the sauce and try it and see how it goes. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Here's my burrito taco. Here's my broth. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. This whole thing is just delicious. I have a feeling I'm going to be going to this place a lot. We did our Wine Wednesday, but virtually, on House Party. That was fun. We played the word game. I love the word games. Like, those are my favorite things. And then now I'm eating this. So my dad brought over some split pea soup and ham. Split pea and ham soup. And it's 
it's really good. Well, I like soup, so I'm pretty easy to please on that front. I'm gonna watch new shows. Uh, Doris told me I should watch Bridgerton, Bridgerton, Bridgerton. It keeps popping up on my Netflix, and I read it, and I was like, maybe. And then I was like, no. And then Amy was telling me about this other show, which then Doris was like, you should watch it. It's called The Wild on Prime. So I might try. We'll see. I usually watch a few episodes, and if I don't like it, then I stop watching it. And though I do have like three, two, maybe, actually, I don't know. Grey's Anatomy is probably on a break, so maybe I don't have any Grey's Anatomy. Actually, I don't. I caught up with Grey's Anatomy. Uh, below Deck, though, there was a new episode on Monday, so maybe I'll watch that. All right, let's do it. Bridgerton. Yeah, Bridgerton. Oh my god, I'm such a blad, blad? I'm such a bad vlogger. Uh, I don't think I actually, like, finished my vlog last night. I'm pretty sure I just went to bed. Um, what's up, guys? Steph here. Welcome to day 31 of Vlogmas. Today's the last day of Vlogmas. And then, hopefully, I actually post these videos, or else it was for nothing. Oh, hello, guys. I'm back home. It's, uh, 6.30. I made a pizza. I was gonna, I don't know what I was gonna eat for dinner, but... I made a pizza. I got this. This is a different type of pizza. I usually like Red Baron. I love Red Baron pizza. I know it's cheap, but Red Baron was not on sale and this was on sale. So I got this. Especially it's uncured pepperoni and it's two pounds, which I don't need a two pound pizza, but I had a bowl of soup as well. Ow. 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 A hot. Ow. Mm, not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good. I just don't like the crust, like I like thin crust. I got some tea. I'm trying the Tajava lemon. I just built my, um, I haven't gotten my Keurig yet. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm getting a Keurig and I got a pod stand. Cause I got hot chocolate, I got a lot of tea. I got a lot of, I got some coffee. I got this coffee sampler. I don't know too much about Keurigs cause you know, I don't really drink coffee, but I like the simplicity of it. So these are all different flavored coffee, butter crunch, Sunday coffee. They're obviously flavored like other things. This just came in. This is um, a liquid sweetener. And then I'm trying to figure out, because I got a box of creamer, but I don't know what creamer is apparently. And so I can't tell if it's supposed to be sweet or if it's just going to be milky. But I don't have a lot of milk in my house. Like, I don't ever keep milk. And so I thought if I got the little containers of creamer, that would be better for me. I'm going to eat... I need to do a few things for work, and then I'm going to take maybe a quick power nap, like a 15-minute power nap, and then just get everything ready for tonight. My, um, from GameStop, my balls came in, so I'm excited to open those. I think with the amount of balls that I got, we can get the whole set, and then once we get the whole set, the other ones I can use for live openings or giveaways or something. And, um, oh, I got some wine for tonight. Oh, I got to set up the, um, caviar. There's just so much. Man, but we're gonna get it. I feel good about this. And you know what? It's whatever. Like, is it really that big of a deal? Like, we're just doing whatever. We're just hanging out, right? I'll catch in, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Also, wait, can I say something? I bought these Pokemon stickers. They're these, like, all pink Pokemon ones. But look at the first sticker that was on. That's not a Pokemon. That's Kirby. I thought that was kind of funny. All right, now I'll check in with you guys later.